Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA really has to sort this out, guys, because it is becoming a big problem. After yesterday's brand new start to Trailblazers on FC25, it is evident that one facet of this game is still not working. I bet you could guess which one. And it rubs salt into the wound when EA themselves are posting graphics on their socials of those Evos that were supposed to be released. Yeah, not very fun. We're going to talk about that today, EA's mistaken objectives, and the actual bright spots of this promo of Trailblazers and where the market might be headed because prices are headed downward like normal on a weekend, but maybe in other areas that we didn't expect. Are we headed for a little bit of a market correction? Have prices gotten too high? We'll talk about that a little bit in today's video as well. So you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Now, we have a lot of content to go over, but first, I want to start with some content that has nothing to do with Trailblazers, and it happened first chronologically yesterday on Friday, Road to the Knockout Upgrades. GG's to EA for upgrading these at the same time two weeks in a row. We have the simple plus ones. And once again, I do it to mention, it is simple plus one upgrades for all of these cards. Plus one overall, plus one on the face stats, plus one on the in-game stats for these simple upgrades. Of course, you do have the VVD, you have the Christian Romero, you have the Malo Gusto. Some of them went down in price like um, the Watkins did. Some of them went up like Malo Gusto is now 515,000 coins. Kuti Romero was one that went down a little bit and then rebounded. So not a whole lot of action there with those cards. It's more about the Trailblazers content from yesterday, but I did want to mention those Fridays, early mornings now, I guess we can assume will be the consistent upgrade time period for these Road to the Knockout players. Of course, check out the tracker on Flipbin if you want to see upcoming matches. We have more games coming in a couple of weeks for potential upgrades. Let's start with yesterday's Trailblazer content in objectives. The first thing, which is actually a good thing, is this daily win games completionist. I think this objective is cool. It kind of promotes you and promotes us to use the new promo cards, which I know can be a little bit annoying, but there's some good rewards in here. Of course, this one is one that everybody's talking about, the whole Pulisic time loan situation. But there's also, if you missed it, an 80 plus times 10, an 88 plus loan player pick, and then a 82 plus player pick as well with the end reward being an 84 times two. And basically all you have to do is complete Complete the daily objectives kind of like a daily SBC remember how we have the daily logins in previous promos it's like that but a objective for winning games you have to just win one match per day in any mode while having one trailblazer player in your starting 11 and this is interesting to mention because it's actually already impacting the prices of these trailblazer cards all of them are at least 24 25 000 coins in the market right now because people are going and buying these they were like 30k yesterday people are going and buying these to play this one game to do this objective and try the card out but that's kind of annoying in one sense too because you have to get this done before the content drop today and every single day or else you won't finish the whole weekly objective. So the ways that you can get a Trailblazer player would be from the store packs that give a player pick, not recommended. You can do the Job Bellingham, as, uh, not SBC, but objective here, which is 10 games in squad battles. So if you don't want to spend any coins, just want to play some squad battles, rewards for that coming out tomorrow, obviously, you could get this done. It's pretty easy. Just get some EFL championship players. They're starting 11. Get that done. You can get this card for free, or you can go and buy one off the market for 20,000 coins. So that's kind of the ways you can get the cards at this time, or get lucky enough to pack one, but uh, most of us obviously not going to be able to do that. So you do have to have a little bit of coins to get this done. But to be fair, this 80 plus times 10 is nice. And this Pulisic, man, yesterday, if you guys missed it, this was dropped straight away at the start of the game. It said, instead of four days down here on this card for the timed loan, it said 96 days, which if you equate 96 uh, hours to four days, that's the same thing. So actually EA just made a typo. It should have said four days or 96 hours. It said 96 days at the beginning. They correct this issue to two hours after content, but we were so excited when this happened because we were like, wait, is EA actually giving us a card that we could put into our team? And, you know, looking back now, it's like, yeah. And we even said it on stream when we realized this, the or saw it for the first time, it looked too good to be true, 100%. But then we started to kind of believe it because it stayed there and was like, wait, is this going to be legit? And it made some prices go up on the market for like Inter Milan players or AC Milan players. And it was like, wow, this might be legit and this might be really cool. But unfortunately, it's only four days, which is still cool. But again, it just goes, it's one of those things where EA 
kind of do something that's like really sick and really good. And yeah, this card would have been in almost everybody's team, and it would have been annoying to come up against them almost every single game, like the Taram SBC cards are right now. But it was so cool that EA was giving out a brand new promo card for that long to use. I mean, 96 days would be a really long time. That's like three months. You'd be able to use this card untradeable, and at least for the first month or two, that'd be pretty cool. But unfortunately, it is only for four days, and I guess we're not surprised by that, but that was a mistake that EA made yesterday that ruffled some feathers for sure. Now, again, this Joe Bellingham, I think this is a decent card if you just want to grind squad battles and get it done. Of course, you've got Evo potential in the future. He's 85 rated, and, uh, you know, interesting links there. Maybe some more content around EFL Championship today as well. We'll talk more about that. So that's kind of the objective section of the game at the moment. Let's talk about the big problem, guys. Evolutions. We did have an Evo yesterday. We did. And it's an okay evolution, but it really just signals that once again, we know for sure. We thought Evos were going to be fixed, but they're not. Like, we know for sure now that Evos are not fixed because this is a very generic, simple Evo. It feels like a band-aid to the problem. Sure, this one's kind of neat. You get to upgrade a card who's in the promo team. If you pack one of the fodder ones, per se, you can upgrade them. But here's my response to this and how I kind of feel to this. If these cards are able to be evolved straight away after this drop into the game, why not just give these upgraded stats to begin with? Why not just give these players all the simple boost that the evolution gives and just drop them in the game in packs with that upgrade already on the card? I don't know. Like, if I get lucky enough to pack this Anthony Robinson, yeah, sure, I'm going to evolve him. But, like, the rest of the cards, yeah, Mingueza looks pretty sick. Joe Bellingham, maybe we'll get that done. Durant, there's kind of like three or four cards in here that look halfway decent, and they probably don't even look halfway decent to everybody. But this is not the type of evolution that we were hoping to see because it doesn't give you the customizability of picking whatever player you maybe want inside of the very wide-ranging attributes that Evos often have. Instead, it is just a simple put a player who was released today in Trailblazers into this and get a small upgrade. But this is what really hurts, guys. Yesterday, if you missed it, EA Sports, I think it's the Germany account, or maybe it was the uh, the Netherlands account. I forget which one. But an official EA account posted three images on their Instagram of evolutions that were supposed to come out either yesterday, all three at the same time, or maybe three that were going to be coming out during the week. I don't know. But they posted three pictures of, of evolutions that look absolutely insane. Taking a silver Pobega, giving him a skill move, a weak foot boost, incisive pass plus, Tiki Taka, and a playmaker plus plus roll, right? That's one of the things about this promo. Every single player gets a roll plus plus in their promo team. I'm sure a lot of the evolutions were planned to have that as well. But this one's called Pure Strength, which looks really interesting because it's a center back Evo that gives a roll plus and gives a weak foot and Trivella. But then this one... Uh, Evolution bag of tricks with trickster and technical play styles, a skill move boost, and inside forward plus plus. Like that upgrade on that Porto card is insane. I know it's hard to see from this image, but that, that's a big boost plus 13 dribbling, plus 8 pace, and plus what is that, 7 shooting, and also like 5 physical with a four, plus 4 passing too. Like this could have been a really, really sick evolution taking a common gold or a uh, maybe a rare gold under 77 rated, whatever the cap was going to be, and boosting them with those stats, this could have been sick. And this is the type of evolution content that we really wanted to see. And instead, we're stuck here with this. But this just rubs salt into the wound because it's like, oh, cool. This is the this is the evolution content that EA literally had planned to drop on this game. These posts were probably scheduled by this EA account for them to post when the actual content was released in the game, right? They do this all the time on their Instagram and their socials. And they forgot to unscheduled a post because evos are broken and they couldn't actually release them in the game that that really frustrates me i'll be honest because that's just kind of like yeah, i know it's a mistake but it's like that's just showing us what we were supposed to have that we don't actually have in the game when we all are wanting evos to have some sort of life and sort of content in this game because we love them and it's one of the best additions to content in the past two years that we've seen for a long time but it's broken at the moment so please ea communicate man Yesterday, you tweeted about the Pulisic situation, nothing about Evos. Say something about Evos. We need to know, like, what is going on with them. Anyways, there are some bright spots to the promo from yesterday, too. And this Rafinha SBC, moving on to SBCs, is kind of one of them. Um, 
I don't know, guys. This price of the SBC is kind of in the range that we thought it was going to be. It's compared to his inform, it's an okay boost. It's not a crazy boost. He does get a play style plus Tiki Taka, which some people is like, nah, that's not what we wanted. You would have wanted a finesse or a rapid or a quick step or power shot even. I think Tiki Taka might be sneaky good though if you're playing one twos and you're an inside forward plus plus as well. This card has at the right wing position, which is very good. I use Salah on that. He's a very good card. I have no doubt that this Rafinha is going to be very, very good in game. And if you're looking for a game changer right wing that you want to stick with for a while, this is probably a decent SBC to do. I think the annoying thing comes down to it with how it's laid out. It's not even a bad price per se. 550, 540,000 coins for this card when his inform was 440k. And this is an upgrade on that with a playstyle plus and a roll plus plus boost is definitely not bad value. It's just nine squads. Again, EA is going for the lower rated squads in high quantity instead of like, they could have gotten a 540K price tag by doing an 87 and two 87s and maybe an 88 rated squad or something like that and made it three or four squads super easy. But instead it's nine squads with a lot of fodder and a lot of team of the week. And of course, because of that, fodder is up a little, 85s as you'd expect since they're required most in this, 86 is up a little bit and 84s are still maintained a 2.2k price as well but other than that the high tier fodder is still chilling and looking ripe for investment and ripe for a market rise once we get an sbc that actually requires something higher than an 87 so honestly i think this sbc is being completed by a lot of people because it is one of the biggest name player sbcs with a really solid card meta card in this game that has been released in a while like honestly the alex morgan sbc was the last one that kind of moved the needle this far, I honestly kind of did, you know, and this one moves the needle for sure as well. So I think this one is being completed by a lot of people and you might disagree based on like the upvotes and the downvotes on footbin, but the market tells the real story. If you take a look at right wing and left wing players, this is Alex Morgan, or uh, not Alex Morgan, Trinity Rodman's graph. People were buying her to link to Alex Morgan. She went from 420K down to 350 where she is right now. There were a lot of price drops yesterday on wing players. Usman Dembele's 415. What was he yesterday? I think he was 480. 400. He was over four, 500,000 coins for one bit there, but 480,000 coins now down to 415. A lot of wing players are down bad on the market, and it's really because of this card. Now, other SBCs that we had yesterday was the 81 plus team of the week, which I think this is the first one that's had an 88 or 81 plus rating guarantee. Same requirements. Also, probably why fodder's up a little bit. Not too bad. You can do this once per day. If you need a team of the week, boom, that's how you can go ahead and get it. And we also had a challenge. SBC as well that gives out a small Electrum players pack. Nothing too crazy to look at there. Now, that's all the SBC objective and evolution content. Let's talk about the team that is in packs. The actual Trail Blazers released in packs. All the leaked cards that we thought we were going to see, we did see. And this promo maintains the same sort of reasoning and same sort of I guess, motto that it did last year in FC24. It's all about role and play style upgrades for inform players. Again, these are for players that have been performing really well in real life. Like I mentioned, it's kind of like an early game team of the season, if you will. And the whole point is the role plus pluses and the new play styles, of course, to um, let them, what does it say? Shine for you on the pitch, but say uh, these, a play style celebrates the ways they've upped their game to kick off the campaign. So that's interesting. The website also mentions play style themed rush events. That's really curious for me too, because we just came out of the uh, Total Rush promo. It was all about Rush. So I guess we're getting more Rush events. That's cool. We love more content in there. And then of course, they mentioned the daily objectives. But again, if you look at this team and look at every single player, every single player has a little plus plus by their name. That means every card has a role plus plus. And I think... This is honestly one of the first promo teams, the first promo team to be fair, that I look at and I say, okay, this is actually like interesting because EA changed these cards for more than just statistics. Cole Palmer gets himself a weak foot boost over his um, player of the month card, which yes, this card is 70K and probably still better value than this one, but he gets incisive pass plus and the shadow striker, I believe. Shadow striker at Cam. Roll plus plus on his card there. Dead ball, finesse, whipped pad. Like, this is a really, really nice card. And I think that the boost, again, for this promo just go outside of the norm. They go outside of just a stat upgrade. You get the weak foot and skills, but most importantly, play style changes. I really wish, Mar wish Marcus Llorente would have gotten a play style plus. He unfortunately did not. Decent upgrade for him. I think this card's very overpriced. In fact, speaking of prices, these cards, I think there were five or six of them that were extinct 
upon the content drop yesterday. Yorente was one of them. He was extinct at like 290. Stanway and Hemp were extinct at 170 or 150. And Pulisic was extinct at 380 or 390. They all got their price ranges updated within two hours, I think, or something like that. It was really fast. So that was a nice thing that happened there too. Uh, but yeah, they're very, very expensive. But also I think the pack weight on these teams a bit higher. One card I want to highlight is this John Duran card. Play, uh, power shot plus for him he's also evolvable this is a card that's going to have a lot of hype just because of who he is and it's his first special card big upgrade for him it's a pretty cool one the passing's not great but if you're able to pack that card this week throw him in the evo you might as well get a bit of a boost and power shot plus is very very good i'm also a big fan of this anthony robinson i used him already he's going to be a very popular card that a lot of people will want to use it's going to be a great investment this weekend his price right now with the range is very high. I think he'll drop off a good bit maybe today and uh, tonight. But I think that's going to be an interesting card to watch this weekend for investments as a new Prem left back is in the game, especially one that can be evolved. That's going to be interesting too for his supply and his price. Now, I want to take a look at the store packs because we had a new pack, right? It was called the Talk to Talk pack. And we didn't see it dropped yesterday. We've been seeing four U packs for the last couple of weeks. We didn't end up getting one. They only dropped one of the Trailblazer specific packs, and they did drop the 100K pack tradables again. These are kind of the packs that I look at each week to decide how packable the promo team is based off the percent. 6.4% from a 100K pack. That's honestly not terrible. It's not. I know you're like, Nate, I haven't packed any. I haven't packed any either, but I haven't opened too many packs. To be honest, there's a lot of fodder cards in this. That's probably increasing the weight. But I really feel like this promo team is going to start to hurt the market because of the interesting playstyle plus boost. A lot of these cards have the roll plus pluses and playstyle plus changes. I honestly think that that is going to start impacting the market, guys, and maybe in a negative way. Have we, have we reached a point where the market price is getting super duper high and pr prices on, you know, even the total rush cards from week one, road to the knockouts, even though they're still live, but icons in particular, have we reached kind of a peak and maybe a bit of a tipping point? Like this Socrates 720, that's pretty low for him. It's pretty low, right? Icons, I know, are still very inflated. I bought a Muller yesterday for 148, sold them for 1.58 or something like that, almost 1.6 mil. The prices are still up, but I'm just a little bit I'm wondering maybe if we're kind of getting to that point as we head into November where we've got another promo with interesting cards, maybe good SBCs coming. We'll have to see. Um, and I think prices, not just on gold cards, but maybe on some informs and other out of pack specials, even some of the total rush cards from team two of total rush to pull up this graphic really quick. Some of these are going down. Guerrero is down 10 K Tomori is 498. He was, I think just 470. Uh, he's down in price. Zaire Emery is still kind of low. Aspas Martins kind of low too. And as I take a look back on some of the other total rush cards from team one, a couple of them rebounded well, but other ones are just kind of staying flat. I don't know if these cards are going to continue to go up with a new promo team that is out. It's drawing interest and potentially new SBCs as well. Can you imagine how the market would have reacted if we had these evos yesterday if we had all three of these evolutions dropped that would have been insane or even if all three of these evos were supposed to come this week or maybe they are still coming we'll see right that's those are really big boosts and that takes demand away from players that are buying cards off the market and maybe puts them into evolutions which means probably some prices drop on the market now let's talk market for a second because if you are going to play games today i think there's still an opportunity to buy cards for a team i just wouldn't hold on to it you take a look at the index the index is down here index icons what are we doing probably a dip into content then a rise and then a dip afterwards yeah exactly we had the same thing since yesterday's content wasn't seen as that crazy which it wasn't we had a dip into content we had a spike afterwards and then Friday night we had downwards, and that's exactly what like Sunny's price is doing, 240 at the moment. Yesterday Sunny was 300k, dropped down to 260, rebounded to 280 almost, and then is now in the nighttime falling down to 240, pretty low. Same thing with for Saliba, 169k, he was 180, went to 190, down to 175, back up to 180, and now down in the 160s. I think the market might rise up like it does each week a little bit today on Saturday, but then I think once we get into the later hours, once we get past the content drop today, people are selling teams on Saturdays after they get their weekly games done. So if you want to buy a team today, I'd say go out and buy the player. Like you got to get your games in, you got to play your foot champs. Go out, buy the player that you want for your team. 
but I would just tell you to probably sell that card before we get into the late night tonight. Uh, I just fear the market dipping off, dropping off a bit, and some prices dipping, and then that maybe even continuing into tomorrow on Sunday as well with how this promo looks and just how the market sentiment feels at the moment. I would also go on a limb and say, maybe if there's an icon on your team, Maybe it is that Gerd Muller. Maybe it's one of these icons that has become incredibly overpriced, like a petite. 700, almost 800,000 coins of this card. Like this, the market rise that we've seen in the last week on some of these cards. I don't know, man. I don't know how much longer it can last. I, it's going to take good content, honestly, for the ship to turn around and for these cards to truly start dropping off. Um, but, man, that's that's a crazy price. Uh, Gerard, seven, is he 700K yet? Oh, my gosh. 650,000 coins. Like, he was 520 last week on Thursday, and now he's 650K. I mean, some of this is getting too expensive. With more and more promo cards coming out, these are going to take the hype, especially once we start to get promo heroes and icons. That's really when you're going to start to see these insane price rises in these cards kind of come to an end. So I think we're getting close to the end on that. That's just kind of the message I want to portray to you guys today. We might be getting some of the peak prices and reaching some of those peaks for those cards here. But I still think the market has some momentum to it in terms of being able to trade. I think icons are still going to fluctuate on the market. And if we do start to see some panic selling, that's going to bring a great opportunity to trade as well. Because... There's still a lot of coins that are on this market. That's the thing to remember. So if you see price drop-offs because of, oh, new promo stuff is out, new cards are out, and prices are dipping here and there on certain cards, once that rarity hits on the out-of-pack specials and there's a bunch of panic selling and prices drop sometimes, you know, on the footprint percentages here, you see the certain percent, like down 20% is something I'm always looking for. Because if something is down 20%, all it has to do is rebound back up 10 and you're making 5%. And that's a really good trading opportunity. Like this card, Martin's dropped off 40%, I believe, yesterday. She went from 120K down to 77. I was not able to snag any here. I saw her price at 80K and I was like, dang, that's cheap. She's back up to 90,000 coins. If you bought her at 80K or under, you're selling right now and you're making a nice little flip off of that card right there. And that's just an example of how you can trade when prices are crashing because if they crash too much and it's an out of pack special card, you can absolutely get on with some flips because of the rarity. So personally on the, my account, I've got the Lewandowski that I bought for 710K. He went up yesterday. The Barca links went up because of Rafinha. He kind of came back down. I still have him though. And I bought two pull of six for 400K, hoping that he can rise up a bit. He is getting a bit rare. I bought two Robinsons, one for 207, one for 210, sold one at 230, sold the other one for a tax loss. And then I bought one Urente for 501,000 coins and sold it for 572. He had a really nice fluctuation swing there. So that was my best profit from yesterday. But it was a tough day trading yesterday, to be honest. But I think the market's going to head downward more today. Let's talk Saturday content, right? As we look into a Saturday, well, you know what we've learned from the past two Saturdays in this game? All we've gotten are Squad Foundations content. Last Saturday, I think it was, who was it? Was it, it wasn't Saudi League, was it? Maybe it was Aldasari. No, it was Selner. We had the Ferran Bundesliga last Saturday. All we had was one player SBC and the objectives, and that was basically it. And that might be the same thing for content today, guys. I think we are getting more of these uh, foundations still. Um, maybe it's going to be EFL, though. Some people are thinking that because of the Joe Bellingham that is here in the objective section. So maybe we get that. Maybe we get something else. I do want to quickly go through the leaks that we have as of right now. We do have a Garassi that has been leaked. Uh, Foot Sheriff originally said he was going to be a Trailblazers SBC and then changed it to a Moments card. Uh, moments on Saturdays used to drop on Saturdays in FC24. It used to be a thing. Moments SBCs on Saturdays. I think the Danjuma in FC24 was on a Saturday. That It was a Moments card. So maybe this is coming as a part of content today. Maybe it's later in the week. Who knows? So I'd watch out for that. The leakers will probably have news on what day that's going to happen. And then also we have a Jonathan David SBC that has been leaked too, which is really interesting because this is where uh, maybe the thoughts come in like, Nate, oh my goodness, Jonathan David has got an inform. He's got a really good Evo card. He was in the voting for player of the month um, and didn't win, but um, you know he was in the voting at least. But Jonathan David is leaked to come as well. This might be a budget beast. If he gets a playstyle plus, which hopefully he would, five-star weak foot, four-star skills on his base gold card in the inform. This could be a nice card. Tough to link. Could be a nice card, could be a nice cheap SBC. And we didn't learn anything 
about this hero on this day car design that was added to the code and talked about in yesterday's video. We heard nothing about it. So that's kind of the news uh, to keep you guys up to speed right now. I wouldn't expect a whole lot today, but a good day to get some champs games in. Maybe one of those rush events too. Since we saw that on the website that EA mentioned, right now all we have is the singular rush event. So maybe they will drop another one in here today. Maybe it will include an, um, an objective to go along with that. We'll have to see. I'm tired of these Pepsi notifications popping up after I redeemed one of those codes. And uh, yeah, I just tried out Pulisic and Rivals. He was very good. So I'm going to try to sell this card before. By the way, if you have this Pulisic, he's probably going to drop off today because again, people are going to realize that he does become free to a lot of people today um, who are completing that objective by playing two games. And a lot of people are going to use him. So definitely watch out for Serie A links. But that's why I'm trying to like get this quick flip going and then uh, maybe sell him here pretty soon before we get into the day today because I'm sure he will be sold off and be panic sold because everybody gets him for free today on this game. But I was looking at this card and I was like, man, he was pretty rare to 440K. He got all the way down to 390, which is where I picked him up. And he may not go back up because people know that he's getting a new card tomorrow. But maybe a few of these cards like Kavicha, who's rare, maybe Cole Palmer. We have an opportunity to trade with them, but it's going to be a little risky. 1.05 for him. These cards do seem a little expensive, but it's day one. They're definitely going to drop off into today, day two. So be very careful with that. Trading with the out-of-packs cards. Maybe like this Bremer inform who really went up a lot yesterday because of Brazilian links to Rafinha and of course Serie A links that a lot of people are running in teams right now. I'm going to try to snag one of him on bid for like 210, 215 and hopefully he goes back to like 240 or 250 today on this game. But that's going to be a video for me today, guys. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below what you're feeling about this promo. I know a lot of frustration at the moment with content on this game. I totally understand it. The Evo situation is really bad. The objective situation with Pulisic kind of sucks as well. The SBC content with the Rafinha is not bad. But yeah, the Evos, man, it's just really kind of like dampering the mood in this game at the moment. EA, just give us some communication. Tell us, fix it, and we'll be all good. But great, uh, good luck with your weekend league games. I hope it's a great time. It's probably not going to be. hope your rewards are great, though, this weekend as you play those. That's the video for me today, guys. Enjoy the footy games today. I will see you in a video tomorrow. It's been Nate for the Count. Catch you guys there. Peace out.